Hey YouTube, Big Hot 762 coming at you with another video. Uh, just picked this up the other day. This is a Pieta 1873. It's a clone of a Colt single action army. Um, this one's chambered in 357 Magnum. And it does have the transfer bar safety. So you can't carry it with six rounds in it. Um, I paid $367 for this gun out the door. It's brand new. And uh, it feels really nice. It feels solid. I haven't actually shot it yet, so uh, you get to see me shoot it for the very first time right here. So let's get the camera set up and we'll take some shots. Alright guys, so it's pretty windy out here today, so I'm not going to bother hanging paper targets because they'll just blow around everywhere and not stay up. But uh, we're out here at about 40 yards, just going to try some, try some shots out for fun here I guess. So. If you're not familiar with a single action revolver like this, um, what you're going to do to load it, is you're going to open the uh, loading flag there, or loading gate, you're going to put the hammer back on half cock. On this particular one, on a, a true Colt clone, you're going to hear uh, two clicks, I think it is, this one only goes to one, to load it. So then you take your ammo. Slide in one shell, rotate to the next chamber, slide in another shell. You're going to do that until the gun is fully loaded. So. Close the port up, thumb the hammer back, and you're ready to shoot. Except I forgot to put my hammer protection on, so I'm going to do that. We're starting out with some 38 grain, or 38 special, 158 grain lead round nose from Federal. This is just the only 38 special I could find in town, so. And then, uh, so we're gonna take a few shots here. This is a single action gun. You have to pull the hammer back every single time. It's not like a double action where you can just pull the trigger. So, get the gun in frame. Take a shot. All right, that was six. So Unload, pull your hammer back to that loading position, open up your gate there, and this lever here, you're just going to punch out your spin casing, rotate, punch it out. Alright, so now let's try some Perfecta 158 grain full metal jacket 357 Magnum. Let's try these out here. 357 Magnums. To be honest, I thought this gun's kind of heavy. I figured that would be a lot softer shooting than it was. Not punishing, but uh, it's recoiling. But it seems to be shooting to a point of aim with the 357s. 
although I'm not exactly taking my time, but it seems to be roughly at a point of aim. guys so we're back inside taking another look at the gun and I'll show you the box and everything I shot about 150 160 rounds of uh, full power 357 through it as well as a couple cylinders of 38 um, it definitely seemed to shoot better with the 357 closer to point of aim um, it seemed to be accurate enough I mean I wasn't trying to shoot for groups or anything because I couldn't hang a paper target it was too windy outside but, um, you know, what I was aiming at, I seemed to be able to hit reasonably well. I did have one issue. There was a couple of times I'd load the gun up, um, you know, put six in, and then the very first round would fail to go off. And uh, here's one of the cases. I couldn't find the other. But if you look really close, you'll see on the edge there between the primer in the uh, case there's a firing pin strike and I think what happened on both times was that both times it happened was the first round after I loaded the gun so I think what happened is I just didn't get the cylinder locked into place um, it should do that automatically when you cock it but for whatever reason it didn't I did not have any other issues other than the very first round after loading it, um, uh, the second time it happened, when I realized what was going on, I just took more care to um, make sure that cylinder was lined up. Never happened again. Um, if it happens again in the future, I'll do another video or I'll give you a long-term report. But uh, so yeah, I had two strikes that were, I guess, out of time, you could say. But I didn't notice any other issues when normally shooting it or anything like that. So I don't know what that's about. So we'll see if it uh, manifests itself anymore. But, uh, you know, for 360 bucks out the door, I'm pretty happy with it. So anyway, <clears throat> so here's the, uh, here's the box. It's uh, just a cardboard kind of sleeve thing, pretty flimsy. Nothing special about that. You know, a nice picture on there. Um, and then inside is a styrofoam sleeve. You have your owner's manual, a couple things of paperwork, nothing really interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure there was a cable lock in here too. I think all guns have to have a cable lock sold with them anyway, but uh, I don't know where that went. Anyway, um, yeah, so there's your box. Nothing really worth keeping, um, but some people want to see that. So anyway, um, yeah, uh, so far I'm really happy with it. 150 rounds isn't a lot, but um, so far, you know, other than um, taking a little extra care to make sure that the uh, cylinder locks into the right spot, um, I'm not having any problems with it. So far, I'm going to shoot it a lot more, and uh, we'll see what happens with it. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'm very satisfied with the gun that, uh, to this point. Um, Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day.